Hi Felters and welcome, I hope you're all okay. Today we're going to try and make Fabian Fox from the World of Wool kit. Can I make my fox look like that one on the box? I really hope so. Let's get started. Today I'm working with Claire's Crafts Creates, which is an online UK based shop. It's a one stop shop for all your felting needs, whether you're a beginner or more advanced. And it's run by Claire and her husband and they really have everything you need. Starter kits, beginner kits, world of wool kits, which is superb. She works with the Lady Moth and Anna Potapova with some fantastic tutorials. She also has some amazing carded wools. She loves carded wools like I do, especially for beginners. She's got tops uh, and roving and curly locks too all the tools you'd need books everything's fantastic and very fast uh, work, good price delivery and even sometimes same day delivery before 2 p.m she also does these beautiful needle felting workshops in a box so you get the video everything you need and instructions and it's all there for you and it's so easy so if you don't if she if she doesn't have something you need just ask her she's lovely do have a look at claire's crafts creates on to Fabian Fox from Claire's website. So here he is. That is what I'm aiming for. Hopefully, hopefully I can get there. It, Romeo Rabbit wasn't too bad, but um, Claire's also sent me this wool buddy, which is a felting mat I've not used yet. And it's lovely. It's made out of thick felt and I've been really keen to try them out and she's got them on her website. So we're going to try that out today and I'll let you know what I think of it. Let's open the box and have a look. So you get all the instructions and all the materials with the World of Wool kits. They're very good. They have loads of kits. They have giraffes, tortoise, lion, cows, all sorts of things. And I would say if you've done a little bit of felting before, it will probably help you. Um, the instructions are written by Cindy Lou Thompson from Chickton Creations and... Um, she is amazing. Her dogs that she does are absolutely fantastic. So the reason I like the World of Wool kits is you get the really good instructions from Cindy Lou Thompson. And that's the fox colour, carded wool. And that's a core wool, also used for the white. Um, that's the grey and the black. So they are a sort of a tops type merino. And that was for the eye. And then you get the wire and you get three needles, one of them being a reverse needle. So you get some very good instructions and you get the pad as well. But today I'm going to be using the wool buddy. So that's what you get in the box, everything you should need. And there's the instructions and they're quite thorough. And I actually learned quite a few uh, new tips and techniques from Cindy Lou Thompson. So this video, uh, the extra things you might need are scissors, tape measure or ruler, um, wire cutters and a bit of glue. So this is me starting doing the wire armature. I'm not going to teach you how to do this exactly. I'm just going to show you because obviously the instructions are copyright with um, Cindy Lou Thompson and World of Wool. But the wire I had seen before from other people that they felt that the wire wasn't thick enough. So I put a pipe cleaner around it and I did a wire armature video as well because it helps with the wool sticking. So problem solving how to keep or stop wire from slipping. I'll link that at the end. So that's the shape I've done and I've put extra wire to try and combat the legs not being strong enough. Here I am covering up so you get the core wool. It's nice and easy. You just wrap it round because it's in a slither form um, and then just build it up. Now, with Romeo Rabbit, I did use a bit of extra core wool from my own. So um, I did the same with this. Maybe it's because I firm things up quite hard, but uh, it's always good. You've probably got a bit of extra core wool anyway. Here we are going down wrapping the legs. Nice and easy with the pipe cleaners on. There's no slipping. You just attach it at the top. The fox colour is is a really beautiful colour. So here we are going down to the last leg. Um, I think in all I didn't do this for longer than sort of two or three hours a day and it took me about three days. So starting to add colour on. So you add the base colour all the way on and then you'll add the coat on top. And you don't want to do them too uh, big because his coat is going to be on top of this so try not to make him too fat as, um, as it says in the instructions 
and I've gone down and done the legs and made them a bit thicker and shaped them a bit. And the wall buddy was fantastic because it's the right um, thickness to be able to slot the legs over and it's really flat. I have to say, I think it's going to be my most favourite mat at the moment because it's so flat. I mean, the mat I use quite a lot that you see has edges um, and it's not as big, but this wall buddy was lovely. So here I am doing the eye, put the eye in, build up around it, put a bit of black for... Um, sort of eyeliner character there's the mouth and nose here's the ears and they give you some fantastic um, or Cindy Lou Thompson gives you some fantastic layering details for the ears so that that wasn't too hard and then putting black around the base of the legs now even though I had strengthened the wire I still didn't think the wire was strong enough and I would probably use a stronger wire to be honest, if you're going to start this, because it's quite disappointing that if you start it and the legs aren't strong enough, you can't change it once you've put the wool on. And the black wool was a tops type, so I just self-carded it like I did there. And I did exactly the same with the grey before I put it on. It made it a lot easier to apply. And now we're just starting to put the coat up. And I spend quite a bit of time doing this and they show you the areas where you start applying it and how it works. It looks all a bit of a mess here, <laughs> but um, it, yeah, it took a short while just to do it. This last bit is the tail which wasn't too hard to do again the instructions are so clear and then I spent ages going over and trimming the whole coat down because the actual coat's quite short on the picture so it spent uh, quite a lot of time sculpting um, lots of fluff and it made uh, a big difference so there we go um, I'm fairly pleased I think I did okay-ish um, the coat was trickier than I thought, but it's not too bad. Lovely colour and the head, I wasn't sure if the head was right, but a very good kit. So that was Fabian Fox. I really enjoyed him. I hope you enjoyed watching it. The next one I'm going to do for the kits is Sheldon Sheep. Um, I've also got a video coming out on this dangerous contraption, which I got about, oh, I think I got about two weeks ago and I've been trialling it. So that will be good. And I've got lots of other videos to come as well. So do keep watching, subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed this video, because that does so much for my channel. You just don't know. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. See you again soon.